After Roland Bohr of the, the University of Winnipeg, over the winter he completed his uh, planes bow, a replica of a planes bow, short bow, that he's been working on for about a year now, on and off, just because of, you know, he's a teacher, right? He's busy. So, but this year he wants to do a whole bunch of different little experiments with it to test different ideas, and um, today we had an opportunity to go begin some of the testing with that particular bow. Um, he would like to try shooting it from a canoe on water. And he's hoping that he can convince um, Fort White, that's a conservation park here within the perimeter of the city of Winnipeg, where they uh, have marshland and ponds and uh, a herd of bison as well. Um, but he would like to go onto one of the ponds where, of course, it's not moving water, where we can have a little bit more control or potential control over the environment. And he would like to experiment shooting from the canoe to the land, which is actually a common hunting technique amongst native peoples. Deer, for example, if you're quiet, they don't actually know what to make of you when you're on the water. So you can get up pretty close to them, which I have done when I've been canoeing. Not with a bow, of course, because I don't hunt myself. Um, but he would like to experiment with this. So the challenge is that Fort White, of course, is a public facility. And it's kind of difficult to propose to them the idea of, yeah, we want to get in a canoe and you want to shoot bows and arrows. So we figured we'd go to the Robin Hood Archery Pole. It's a public park that our club has leased with some specific safety limitations upon what we are doing to demonstrate those safety limitations which we use to, to implement at Fort White Alive so that we can demonstrate to them what our goals are in this particular test. So we did some dry land testing with a beat up old canoe that I will never ever float again. Um, that's what's going to follow. A few little clips of what we did there to establish the parameters, the safety parameters in which we're trying to use to help, hopefully, to use to convince Fort White Alive to allow us to do this test on water next. Good luck to us, eh? Keep having fun, guys. Try my bowl again first. So this is a reproduction of a Plains Aboriginal style bow. It's made from oak and has a sinew backing under the snakeskin here. We just measured it and pulled, uh, was it 40 pounds at 20 inches or 44? 44. 44 at 20 inches. So uh, obviously these arrows are much longer, but that's what we'll use for safety here. So everybody will be using the same arrows. 680 grains, 34 inches long, and wood. So we're we ready? Yep. First try. 10 yards. 10 yards. From the kneeling position. Yeah, I set up the two ones that did the closest. The smaller one is at 10, the further one is at 15 yards. Testing. Kneeling position. Dry lad testing. No, I don't see it being a 
problem at all. 